Troy Murphy, cornerback out of the University of Alabama, 5'10", runs a 4'3", a standing quickness, great downfield vision. He needs to work in that bump and run coverage. My concern is his diet. Got to take care of that body. That's why we're here. Been following him for four hours, stopped twice for food, albeit bad. Two cheeseburgers, loaded with cheese, bacon, mayo, two tacos, loaded with explosive hot sauce. Now I just have to determine if he's got dessert. Excuse me. Just as I thought, double chocolate malt, 800 to 1,000 calories, loaded with saturated fats. Not what you want your third round pick to be consuming. Like I said, got to take care of that body. I'll be honest, this makes me reconsider his position in the draft. Maybe he left some defecation remains in the toilet to give us a better understanding of what's going on here. We spent six days with Mel Kuyper Jr. as he crisscrossed the southern United States. He predominantly spends his days evaluating athletes on college campuses or high school stadiums. His work ethic is astonishing, but his methods are even more unbelievable. Ladies, 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 I need you to approach these two guys and you do what you do. You come on strong. Constant touching in and around the groin, flattering eye contact, sensual whispering in the air. Once they get the picture, you take them out of the room. You give them every indication you're going to have sex. Maybe up to a half full chub. I don't know. That's up to you. Give him every indication, then you say you have to leave. So, we don't fuck him? That's correct. Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's play ball. So, Mel, what's the objective of this test? I like to go outside the on-field numbers, test players in high-stress situations. What's more stressful, the full-on blue balls? But I've been using this technique seven years ago. Ray Rice would have dropped down two rounds. So basically you're saying if these potential draftees physically assault these women? That's right, Bob. If these two 6'4 interior linemen beat the shit out of these whores, they're looking at going from a mid first to a late second round pick. They would only drop one round for committing such a violent felony? It might not even be that far. Cowboys have a mid first round pick and Jerry Jones historically targets guys with that domestic abuse edge. When the women returned, Mel discovered they were unharmed. He then asked us to stop filming because, and I quote, he wanted to show these ladies how to properly execute the three-cone drill. We did stop the camera, but one mic remained hot. The following is that recording. That's right, four inches flaccid, six and two-thirds inches, fully erect, oh. great girth, solid stamina, oh. well-groomed pubic hair. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Oh. Uh, oh. This is great. As the draft drew closer, Mel's behavior grew increasingly unpredictable. He rarely slept and was going to great extremes to remain alert, focused, and on the job. I was Rob Bryant Marshall. He's a fantastic quarterback prospect at a Baylor University in 2009. Rocket arm, great mobility. Unfortunately, he had some character issues that forced him out of the league in 2013. Uh, uh. Now he's a consistent source for cocaine in the greater Houston area. He's got everything you want in a drug dealer. Easy access, quality stuff, great high, low come down, rarely cut. Much better than competition. Rafael McGindez, who's Puerto Rican, and I just don't buy from Puerto Ricans. My niece Wallace the Texans are meeting with an agent that represents two of the potential first round picks. One's a free safety at the University of Michigan. Great instinct, a true ball hawk. In exchange for time and location of this meeting, I gave his Uncle Raymond a hand job. Uncle Ray Ray, 5'9", 200 pounds, 20.4 seconds from soft to erect. Quick finisher with above average ejaculation directionality. Everyone be quiet, they're about to discuss the player of interest. Hachoo! Hachoo! I just missed the player's name of interest because of that little outburst. Have you ever heard of Allegra? It's a great product, fast acting, low inches to come down. Good value for the price? I guess not. You fucking idiot! Ah! Ah! Can't win. Or she can't stop, win. Oh. Mel eventually calmed down and asked to speak to us off camera. 
He explained that as the draft gets closer, he devolves further into madness. He enters a place of true darkness. For Mel, at times the draft creates heroin-like levels of euphoria, but it mainly sends him into a harrowing downward spiral that bottoms out when the last player is selected. He tastes the fruit of his efforts for only a fleeting 72 hours, and then must resume the soul-swallowing process anew. After spending time with Mel, we gained an understanding for his commitment and for his drive. We also learned to fear him like a wild animal.